All right, guys, so if you've been waiting for the DJI FPV video out feature via USB-C, this apparently is working now on both both the uh, V1 and V2 goggles. And uh, I've been kind of waiting around for this. I've been thinking about getting this smart controller, but now that this is out, maybe I won't get that. So it's actually very easy to do. So there's gonna be links down below to where you get to get the files and then also the people that are responsible for this. Um, the developers should probably donate some money to them. I'll put all those links down in the description below. And as well as uh, It's Blunty, uh, he's the one that actually put this video out first. I've been kind of following along, but I think he beat me to the punch. Anyway, it's super easy to uh, get this going. Get the uh, zip file from one of the links down below extract it. You're going to, um, before you run the install drivers program, which is the next step, you want to plug in your quad, turn on your goggles, so plug in your goggles, make sure they're powered on, plug in the quad, and then quad needs to have the auto temperature control feature turned off. If it's on, this won't work, you'll just get a black screen. So make sure that the auto temperature feature is turned off, auto temperature control. Turn that off. Also, you probably want airflow over your Vista or air unit so you're not burning it out while you're doing this little demo. So once you have a connection from the quads uh, Vista or air unit to the goggles and you have video, then you want to go ahead and plug in the goggles to your computer uh, via your USB-C cable. Use a good one. You, you know, probably the one that you've been using for firmware updates will be good enough, but if it's a cheap one, this will probably fail. So make sure it's a good quality cable. At this point, uh, you'll probably get a you know, driver installation on Windows if you haven't plugged in before. If not, uh, it'll probably just recognize it as usual. And then you want to go ahead and run that install drivers program from the zip file. And you'll get this Zadig program. And you want to select the bulk interface as the DJI FPV goggles and hit um, replace drivers. And then it'll go ahead and install that. It'll take a little bit of time. Depends on how fast your computer is, about a minute to five minutes. And then once that's done, uh, you'll have the proper drivers. You can go ahead and run, uh, run the batch program down at the bottom. Uh, it's called Run VOC or Run VOC Hybrid GPU. So if you have a PC with a integrated graphics card and a dedicated graphics card, the, you want to run the hybrid program. If you have just a dedicated graphics card and only one graphics card, it won't get confused. Just run the run voc.bat and then it will basically launch. You get some text, a command prompt window with a bunch of like data and stuff. And then a window called pipe with the video out from the, um, uh, the goggles. Yeah. So it works. And uh, there's obviously a bunch of latency and everything. I noticed that it's pretty significant latency, actually probably like a second or two. But who cares? It's, it's really just for spectators and stuff. And you know, if you have a PC next to your goggles and have your USB cable plugged in, spectators can now watch your live feed, albeit it'll be a little bit delayed. Anyway, uh, links to all the stuff down below and go ahead and give those guys some love uh, for setting this up because it's going to save you guys from spending $750 on a smart controller or whatever that thing is, the DJI sells. Okay, that's it for now. Talk to you later.